poked away. Curling ball towards that far post. The back line handled it well. Biddle. Presley. Makes you a bit of an impossible scout, but also requires a very high soccer IQ, right? To be able to handle that much variance in how you're going to show up week to week. Yeah, and he had senior at box in those ranges to test the goalkeeper. Laces it outside. Here comes SMU. The touch to center, bounce in the air. Tulsa swarming. Bolted down the pitch. Cuts back inside, a chance. And the left-footed shot is deflected away. A good recovery by Tulsa with Salama bearing down. And they have made a couple phenomenal recoveries in this first half. Folly to the 18. And off the dome, back in front of the box, Tulsa. And just trying to get on the end of it, a couple offside calls. And then Tulsa just really taking advantage Again, I mean, we are seeing a lot more, better linkage play from Tulsa. But trying to take advantage, just not letting Jordan Frederick get to that ball. Just goes on her knees again, saves that breakaway. That could have happened from Jordan Frederick going forward. SMU has a step. Rose. A goal line cross is blocked, and it's an SMU corner. Getting professional attention from the draft boards that you're still able to achieve that that is a testament to her commitment and her academic prowess is that's tapped out of play well played ball by Tulsa a throw ball up ahead and a chance for SMU saved at the last second but the second time's the charm Naya Rose comes to and now have to be focused. 31 and a half minutes to go. Everything on the line for Tulsa. And that drive deflected. 54th. And SMU trying to find that upgraded insurance plan. And defense into offense. Here comes the transition. Fernandez. Deep drive left side. Tulsa looking for the tie. Back portion of the arm right there. Referee drops it, and we are set and ready to go. And Memphis wants to go in an absolute hurry. There's Miller. Miller now working 1v1. Ashlyn Fernandez got a piece of it. Ball sent back across and a goal. Oh, and absolutely we won that one 4 0. All of those goals came in the second half. Good ball played through. Aguirre there tracking, cutting to the inside. That ball played off of Ashlyn Fernandez, who came over, cut down the angle. Try to avoid a mistake here. Defending in numbers, helping back now is Aguirre. Poked away. Curling ball towards that far post. Back line handled it well. Ten different players have scored at least a goal so far this season for Memphis. Jones using speed and quickness, cuts to the inside. Carson, simple touch. Finds Ashlyn Fernandez, who scored two goals on Sunday for Diaz. Memphis to necessarily run you ragged. So you better pick your moments. 
That's good stuff from Safransky. Has been so good and so dominant here in the American Athletic Conference this season. Accurate balls played in over. Ashland finds her sister. Going to drop in there. Williams isn't going to be able to get there in enough time. Got that save off the back line from Fernandez. See if they can find their way to work in behind that back line, dropping in over the top for St. Louis. Also will attempt one of their own. Frederick gets to it first, first touch. Down. Sim Smith is... Got a shield off. It's Perryman who continues to give chase. This is where if you're a UAB, you have to be a tad bit weary. Trying to get lulled in a little bit here. Ashlyn Fernandez. I believe that is actually tough. has got seven there in the box the header that's there to goal oh an absolutely wonderful service ball in the corner and yeah, look who it is it's Ashlyn Fernandez who heads that one into the back of the net and we are officially at game on time they just had to pull one back Perfect ball there, cuts inside of the defender. There's the reverse angle. UAB's got to get back to what they were doing well here in the first half, and that is just using a little bit of. Especially. Line. Just get enough possession and earn a couple of calls. Brilliant ball to header to goal. And it's Ashley Fernandez again. The original release of that ball looked like it was going to be back further behind, but it just curled in a perfectly timed run to Ashley Fernandez and the brace. And my, how the fortunes have changed. Here it is one more time. Look, just kept curling and the far post run. Let's take a look at some of those keys to the game. We'll start first with the visitors. Temple, a little bit more of a direct play situation over the past couple of weeks. They've been able to, not much that Vecchioni could do there. You see this, send this one way forward. Well, but has turned into one of the better defenders here for the Golden Hurricane. 